From the moment he first started playing football in Great Falls to his current coaching job in Calgary, it seems like everything Dave Dickinson has touched turns to gold. Today, the Montana legend enters the College Football Hall of Fame, capping off a remarkable run for a man who has so often achieved greatness. These two weeks for me has been as good as any in my life. When you've had a life like his, that phrase means a lot. Dave Dickinson is in New York for his induction into the College Football Hall of Fame just 10 days after capturing the Grey Cup in his third try as Calgary Stampeders head coach. I remember like seeing some other athletes, like Peyton Manning and some other guys that after they win a Super Bowl and they just almost feel like they're exhausted and a relief. And I felt the same way. I felt like it was overdue. You can excuse Dickinson if his first emotion wasn't elation. After all, winning championships have become almost a habit. The quarterback captured two state titles in high school at Great Falls CMR, then led Montana to the school's first ever national championship in 1995. Dickinson left that field on top of the world, thinking he had played his final game. You know, just for me, it was kind of like, okay, the career is over. What a great way to finish. Uh, felt like we had done something special. No one could take it away. After that moment, everything's kind of fell in line. I mean, like I'm 5'10", 185. I didn't think I'd play in a year of professional sports, let alone 13. About two decades north of the border have made it difficult for the Montanan to return to his roots until this fall, when as part of his College Football Hall of Fame induction, perhaps the most beloved Grizzly ever spent a weekend on campus, getting back in touch with the UM program. Dickinson said the trip was as good as it gets. Basically, if you have any relative or any ties to Montana, and you've done something special in sports as, as well as anything else, Montana's going to adopt you. Glad they're proud of who I am and what I accomplished, but also what I stand for, and um, I'm doing my best to represent the state. The undersized, overlooked quarterback now enters the Hall of Fame alongside the likes of Charles Woodson, Calvin Johnson, and Ed Reed. Dave Dickinson still only knows how to win. And get together with these guys, the guys I've looked up to my whole life and watched football my whole life. Um, it's, it's big time for me just to get away and to be part of this group. Um, you know, be tough to match 2018 though because it's been a great year for me. Dickinson already entered the Canadian Football Hall of Fame three years ago for his record-setting playing career in the CFL.